All right, when you think of Italian food, you may not always immediately dream of desserts, but there are plenty of recipes to keep you inspired. One very popular sweet treat in Italy, sold by street vendors, particularly in the southern part of the country. This morning, Chef Franco's in our kitchen with how you can make this delicious delight. What's it? Buongiorno! What's it called? Zeppoli. It's Zeppoli. called what? Zeppoli. Zeppoli is like a, Zeppoli. like a donut, like a yes. fried donut, okay. right? Yes. It can be exactly right. This is the one with uh, with uh, sugar on it. We have one here that's drizzled with honey and pistachio. Oh, oh. This is a St. Joseph's table. This is Il Tavola di San Giuseppe. So every uh, March 19th, we lay out a St. Joseph's table. Yes. It was based on years ago where uh, a certain town had uh, a famine, and so they prayed oh, to St. Joseph, okay, okay. Oh. Jo uh, uh, Jesus, Joseph, and Mary, yeah, right? Yeah. So they prayed to St. Joseph to, to eliminate the famine, <coughs> and he did. Wow. And so what happens is you have every Look 19th of Look March, at this. we have the St. Joseph's table, and everybody can eat. Wow. Everybody, everybody. Anyone who walks in off the street. No. Anyone can eat. So Blanket that's what your happens. House? House, People. parishes, <laughs> anywhere. And St. Joseph's wow. Day, the doors are open. I love okay. that concept. I hope Italy I love goes that off concept. lockdown by March So do I. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so, and it also features items that are uh, bread related. And it's not because it's bread or anything like that. Right. It's, it's bread crumbs. The crumbs represent yes. the sawdust from yes. the carpenter just. Oh, oh wow. okay. How so you'll find this dish here, which is a pasta con acciuga, which is. Uh, some people don't like anchovies. Let me tell you how you do anchovies. How do you do it? First of all, talk to us. A little bit. Just a little just bit. Just this tiny amount. Okay. Okay, because what happens is when these people buy the anchovies, they're in salt. They throw them into the oil, and then you got to salt the anchovy. Rinse it off. Oh. Cut it in half, cut it in little pieces. When you put it to the olive oil with garlic, it should disappear. You're very passionate <laughs> about this, we see. If you're going to wreck the dish, don't call me, okay? <laughs> so, if you want to know how to do it, I'll so, tell you how to do it. Oh, this is nice and warm. So this has anchovy? So this it? will have, you won't even notice the anchovy in this dish. Okay, are because... These, are these bacon bits on top? That's bread crumbs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just joking. Yeah, so that's the bread I, crumbs, I she, right? Bread crumbs, so, okay. So this dish delicious. will have a nuttiness to it, a wonderful, just a very <laughs> subtle taste. Mm. You won't taste fish. Yes. You won't. Sometimes they'll do... Uh, Pasta uh, con le sarde, which is with sardines, okay? Yes. But this is a subtler way of handling it. A little bit of anchovy, and you now have the perfect uh, sort of St. Joseph's. Dish. Where's Alex is serving? <laughs> Obviously not there. Well, yeah, let me put this on the dish for you. <laughs> Thank here, you. We'll do it like this. We'll do it like this, okay? Here, let me sneak in here. Let me sneak in here. We'll okay, get so a little bit. Before we run out of time, though, how yeah. do we make the, this dessert? All right, so because let me show you the dessert. Look at this. A little bit of this pasta here because I don't care who you are. You don't like this. You don't like Christmas. So is this a dessert that you would eat in Italy any time of the year? or is this You know, primarily it's for St. Joseph's Day, right? You have these. Okay. These Zeppoli. But you have this whole table sort of represents the things that are uh, for spring. It's right. kind of the precursor to Easter, okay? okay. I got you. We have frittata with okay. olives and uh, and onions here. I have an artichoke. The, the spring items, the the artichokes, the the uh, asparagus, things yes. like that, right? First ones that come okay, in. So That's not to beat a dead horse, but how do we make the donuts? Because those look really good. Okay, <laughs> so you have our recipe. It's on the it's on the w website, right? Mm -hmm. And you just basically make it into this sort of batter type of thing. Drop it in one tablespoon at a time. Ba -ba 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 For how long? That how long seems pretty cut? easy. It is easy. You know how this works. Yes. I make everything. Easy, yes, you right? do. <laughs> and then, what's your favorite thing to sprinkle on it? Uh, like, to this, mm -hmm. I like the sh I like the sugar, yeah. but the uh, honey and su and uh, pistachios tends to be something that's a little bit, you know, uh, the, the Sicilian. You know, look, you got great uh, pistachios coming from from Sicily. This mm -hmm. is a Italia Sud. It's a southern type of a thing, more yeah. more southern than anything else. Franco, we know you do a lot of traveling, and you go yes. back to Italy quite a bit. Have you spoken with any friends, family members, loved ones over there, I especially have. in light of everything going on yeah, with coronavirus? It's, uh, it's uh, it's kind of scary, and and so what's happening is, and we were just talking earlier about um, the movie Omega Man. When you see these cities that are completely devoid uh -huh. of people, right. it's frightening. So uh, Rome, Milano, all these cities, you can shoot a cannon down them, never hit anybody. So that's people have just happening. been ordered to stay. And that's yeah, a and they're and they're playing home. by the rules. Mm -hmm. So they're staying home. They're trying to they're trying to end this this uh, problem and we're and so you know it's it's like anything else if you're 
you get the community involved in it, you get the people yeah. involved in it, it's going to go away. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for, we're hoping that April, because uh, I'm going back to Italy in uh, May and in October, we're hoping in April sort of things start to quiet down. Let's hope so. Yeah. We can get yeah. back in there, but they're, they're nervous. Of so well, everything on this table, what is your favorite? Um, this side. This <laughs> so. You and I think so much alike. We do. We really do. <laughs> this side. So I think, you know, I, if I had to pick something, I'd do pasta because they eat pasta every day. But I love the frittata. These are typically a, a, a sort of a breakfast brunchy kind of a cioccolata type of thing. The okay. croissant. They do croissants a little bit differently. This is a sfogliatelle. Look at me. Sfogliatelle. This is, and so you'll see nuts and you'll see chocolates and you'll see all those types of things. This is a blood orange here with our with our cantalope. Mm. You know, look, great table, enjoying it with everybody, with friends. How, how, it doesn't Nine get eight. better than that, okay. truly. All right, she's finished her first plate. Let me go ahead and give this to her. <laughs> Thank you. I Mark. see you looking back over here for it. Thank you, although I'm thinking of making another <laughs> yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, right. St. Joseph's Day, March That's 19th. It. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Cannot guys. wait to dig it. in. This looks so, so good. All right.